Alright, Survivors, Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die with yours truly, Paulina Punchwood, who's having some difficulty getting a bag of gas in the gas tank on her motorcycle, but she's uh, she's given she's given it the college try. The old college try. Good job, Paulina. Do you need some help with that? No, I didn't think so. Okay, fine. Then you take care of it. Yeah, that's the tank. You just gotta put the bag again. Hold on a second. Let me help you, okay? Hold on one second. Yes, that is actually gas in her hand right there. <laughs> Although it looks like a bag, which is pretty darn funny, but we just have to pour it in. There you go. It was a, a waterproof bag is what it was. So now we have some gas. Fantastic. Not that kind of gas. Anyway, speaking of college, we have a college jacket here that gives Pauline a plus 10% run speed. And it looks nice too. So I had to put the uh, the duster in the, uh, in the trunk for now. That duster is really, really nice. But so is that college jacket for running super fast. Anyway, it's day 22, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we are about to head out to kill some nurse zombies that uh, have been waiting for us patiently to come by and slaughter them mercilessly way the heck over here. That's a quest we've had for a long time. And then on the way back, we'll hit Jen's over here, the trader, and see if she's got some new stock in. She's supposed to get restocked on, on day 22. That's today. So hopefully she has a crucible, and then we can start making steel. And if she does not have a crucible, then um, then we're going to have to find a, uh, a recipe somewhere, and uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Boing! All right, let's go. Let's go kill some nurses. Oh, and I want to make a shotgun today. Yes, I want to make a shotgun. We do have a shotgun recipe, and we just need some steel for it. This is one of the reasons we want to get this... Dang crucible, so we can start making steel weapons and so forth. But uh, we need that crucible, and it's been kind of a hassle to find one. It's been very, very elusive, this crucible, but we'll get one eventually. Morning, blue jeans! <laughs> that was the wrong button. <laughs> I was trying to hit the horn. Oh, Paulina wants to go say hi to, to, to blue, uh, Billy, Billy Jeans. I called him blue jeans. Sorry. Oh, he's beating on that telephone pole. What, the cable out again? Oh, so sorry. All right, we'll see you later. Have fun. All right, guys, we're almost there. And I had to take a couple of detours because of the water. Now, I'm wondering, can we just go through the water? You are wet. I mean, we're wet, but I was wor worried about the motorcycle. Oh, gosh. We'll get out of there. Okay, it works. It's, uh, it's amphibious. <laughs> it's the best apocalypse vehicle. Told you, it's awesome. It's amphibious. It's an amphibious motorcycle. Who knew? But Paulina is a little bit wet right now. Actually, she's a lot wet. What does wetness do? Anyway. Makes you wet. Okay. That's not so bad. I've been wet before. Alright, let's call up the nurses. Nurse! Nurses, we need some help here. Medic! Ooh, look at them all. Wait, do I hear a dog? I hear something growling. Sounds like the nurses have a dog. One of them, anyway. Alright, here they come. Let's take them out. Easy peasy. Oh, who's this? Hey, you're not a nurse. Maybe she's uh, a nursing student or something. Aspiring nurse. Is that all of them? Did we get the... Oh, we got the trader. Okay. We got to go see the trader now. Fantastic. All right. Let's hop back on the bike. And let's boogie. Thought I heard of something growling over here. Maybe it's just my imagination. All right. We'll meet you guys at uh, Trader Jen's. And now that I know, we can just go right through the water. Whoa! Watch out! Merle! Merle's fishing! How are they biting? What are you catching in there anyway? Alright! Here we are, Trader Jen's! I hope she's got what we need. I really hope so. Otherwise, it's on to plan B, which is to go find a crucible recipe somewhere, or the crucible itself, which I'm not even sure if that's possible. But uh, hopefully she has what we need, and we can... Start crafting steel items. Hi, Jen. We're back. We heard you got new stock. Oh, what happened to your voice? You lost your voice. Good it's job. terrible. 
I oh, knew you could do there it. There it is. Okay, she found her voice. That's nice. 625 XP, uh, 350 Duke's tokens. Oh, that's it? I thought we used to get more than that, but whatever. All right, let's see the inventory. Crucible. Uh-oh. No. Dang it, Jen. What the heck is wrong with you? How about some steel? You got some steel? Forge steel. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to need 10 forge steel anyway. I'm going to buy 10 forge steel, and I also have to sell this machine gun right here. We don't need it. And now, um, let's see what else she's got while we're here. Oh! Thanks oh. for the business. Wait a second, Jen. We're not done. It's the plane. The plane. Uh, darn it. All right, let's see where that is. Oh, that's right. It's right on the way home. Fantastic. We'll get that on the way back. Um, yeah, we're back. Okay, can we see what you have again here? Because I think I saw something about a bandolier. A bandolier mod. Reload 30% faster. The effect does not stack, but it can be installed into any chest or leg armor for 430. That seems like a must. Yes, I'll take that. Where do you find this awesome stuff anyway? Urban combat adrenaline rush. Use the adrenaline rush of combat to energize your body. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. <gasps> Say what? That's sick. I think we want to get that. But let's have a look at the tools and traps. Claw hammer for 400. Man, we need one of these so bad. I don't have one. But I don't want to spend 400 for one. We may find one today. Because like I said, we're going to go uh, rifle through some homes. Especially big homes like mansions. Because there's a good chance of finding bookcases in them. And recipes and so forth. How about some gas? You got any gasoline? No gasoline. No recipes to make gas. That's too bad. Apparently there is a recipe to make gas, but we don't know it. Um, so for now, we're just going to have to salvage gas from vehicles and barrels and all that. I think I'm going to get this. Urban Combat Adrenaline Rush. Armor doesn't slow us down because we do wear armor and it does slow us down a little bit. I'd rather not be slowed down, so seems like a good plan to me. Okay, I think we're done here. Do you guys see anything special? Yeah, we can always come back here. She gets restocked on day 25, so if you see something here... That looks awesome. Alrighty, Let me know then. down in the comments. Stay safe out there. Yeah, you too, all right? And how about some jobs? What you got? Fetch to the if northwest you do this seems for me, good. I will never do hurry. Do you I will have a never what? Payment coming up soon. You didn't finish what you were about to say. Oh man, what a tease. Cliffhanger right there. Might have been something awesome. Okay, so we got some, ow! Oh, sorry, sorry, Pauline. I always forget about that dang thing. Um, yeah, let's let's read this first of all, and yeah, we're gonna put the bandolier on. Said chest armor. Can we fit it? Oh no, we got the customized fitting mod. Wait, hold on a sec. We can put it on leg armor too. Let's see how many slots we have here. Oh, pocket and armor plating plus one armor. I mean, the whole idea is to not get hit. So let's put the bandolier on the leg armor. And there goes my phone, the real phone in the real world. Hang tight, I'll be right back. I gotta check that. All right, we're back. And we're gonna get the, uh, the supply drop, which is somewhere right over here. Is it in the water? Oh, right on the edge. Okay, fantastic. Pull right up there. Okay, let's check it out. What do we got? We got, uh, well, nothing really that great, to be frank. Well, better than nothing, and it is free. Boing! So, you can't complain about free stuff. All right, we're back at base, and let's park right here. And let's go make a shotgun. Pump action shotgun. Let's check it out. P-U-M-P, -P. let's see what we need. Pump shotgun. Shotgun parts? Oh, wait. Wait a second. We should level up first. I want to level up my boom stick so we can make better shotguns. We can craft quality to poor shotguns. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the skill to get any higher, but that's better than quality one, right? And while we're here, let's go ahead and dump a point into slugger, which allows us to craft quality four good knuckles. And deal 30% more damage with fists and have a chance to knock down your opponent. Knock down your opponent. That seems amazing. And we got one point left, which we'll just hold on to for now. 
All right, yeah, let's uh, let's check out that shotgun and see what it takes to make. So the requirements actually increase as your skill increases too. So we need seven shotgun parts, 22 steel, duct tape, polymers, and spring. I'm just going to grab all of it. Just grab it all. And there we go. Pump shotgun, level two. Let's craft it. All right, we're back, and Pauline has been working hard at that workbench assembling this shotgun. Is it done, Paulina? It's done. Okay, let's go get it. Yay. Yes, it is done. A level two pump shotgun. Snatch it up. Oh, look at this, guys. Absolutely amazing. Load it up. And do we have any mods for this thing? We have a shotgun tube extender mod. Increases magazine capacity for pump shotguns by three. Oh, that's fantastic. Holy cow. All right, well, let's do it. Only got one modifier slot. And there you go. Load it up. 10 rounds. Wow, it loads up pretty quickly. <laughs> so 10 rounds in our level 2 modified shotgun. Awesome. And now, what time is it? 15.45, so it's almost uh, 4 o'clock, right? It's going to be 4 o'clock soon. We have plenty of time to get to the north here and go check out that big mansion. I think it was, like, right over here somewhere. Um, I did happen to see it when we were up in that town, and I feel like they're going to have lots of bookshelves. So let's, um, yeah, let's roll out. Although, hold on a sec. We got this armor plating. I think I can put that in something with the gloves. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's boogie. Let's do this before it gets too dark. Boing. And even if it does get dark, we'll be fine. Ow. <laughs> Dang it. All right. I will meet you guys. At the mansion. Oh, here's that biker again. Oh, you poor sorry soul. You like my bike? Can't have it. Get your own. Oh, here's that lady. Works at the uh, at the girls' club down the road. Just getting off her shift, I think. Here's that skateboarding punk. Here's the guy with the broken down car. All right, guys, here we are at the McMansion I was telling you about. And my theory is that if small houses have bookshelves, then a large house would have even more. It's logic, right? Does that make sense? What are you talking about, Paulina? Of course it makes sense. Yes, it does. Stop. Stop denying it. <laughs> and also, Paulina and I have a, uh, a confession to make. Um, we've already been inside. And it does have bookshelves. It has a lot of bookshelves. I found at least 11 bookshelves inside. And the crucible that we've been after for so long inside, believe it or not. However, I lost the footage of finding it. And it makes me very sad that I, ha that I have no proof. So what I want to do is see if we can relive that, uh, that amazing moment when I finally found the crucible in the bookshelf. But um, hopefully it's there. I just don't know how bookshelves regenerate their loots. It might not be there. It might. We will see. But first, we gotta get in. And this McMansion is locked up tight. Honey, we're home. Ooh, what is this? I've never seen this before. It's like a secret room with a dirty mattress. <laughs> a dirty little secret of the McMansions. Of course. Lots of dirty little secrets. And this is, um... What is this? Oh, it's a garage. I didn't come down here either yet. Oh, it's Merle. Oh, who's this? Whoa, fast guy. It's a, it's a feral. Merle, you hanging with the McMansions? Dude, I thought we were friends. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Maybe he just works here. I just didn't think they'd be your type. Oh, come on, get up. That was just a love tap. That's that awesome uh, slugger skill. Oh, and that's the dismemberment skill. I mean, look at the size of this garage. It's huge. You could put 10 cars in here. Merle must have been their mechanic. That must be it. I'm sure Merle does not rub elbows with the McMansions. McMansions, we're here. So anyway, there's the bookshelves, uh, seven of them. And then there's four more in that room there. And um, I haven't really searched the rest of the place. Oh, hi, nurse. Look at this. This house comes complete with a nurse in a, in a closet. Yeah, that was my, my joke before, too. It still worked out pretty well. <laughs> all right. I don't want to go through all this loot right now. Oh, a stained T-shirt. Hmm. Something is amiss. Um, let's just go get 
those bookshelves. I'm going to go around this way. Oh, look who it is. Billy Jeans. Coming to say hi to the McMansions. Uh, sorry, pal. They're not home right now. Right. Up we go. And then through here. And we got somebody. We got a punk. One of the McMansion kids hiding in the closet. Uh, what is that? What is this kid hiding? Looks like another dirty little secret back here, maybe. Hmm. Oh, a weapons bag. The kid was hiding a weapon. Oh, just ammo. <laughs> in his closet. Fantastic. All right, well, I won't tell his parents. Well, actually, let's go tell his parents. I'm going to tell him. His mom and dad are right here. Here's Mrs. McMansion. Miss McMansion, your kid's hiding bullets in the cl Oh, I'm sorry. She's so mad. Look at her. She doesn't like it when people just drop in on her, especially around dinner time. She, what was she making? Oh, you're checking on your wife? I'm sorry, Mr. McMansion. <laughs> now he's not going to get his dinner. It's 2020 anyway, pal. Make your own dinner. What is she going to make him? A can of miso soup. All right. Well, you know what? Let's eat that miso soup right now. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Thanks, McMansions. All right. Now, let's go back over here real quick and see if we can get our crucible, please. Automatic weapons handbook. Yeah, th these look different. Yeah, power doors. I mean, this that's pretty cool and everything. Iron reinforced club. But I really want that crucible, guys. Sniper volume one is pretty good. Lucky looter we have. Motion sensor schematic. Oh, that's neat. Ergonomic grip. Be good on our spear, I would imagine. Paper. And a magnum enforcer. Whatever that is. We'll read these in a second. Ranger's guide. Yeah, great. Guess what? We don't use archery. Lucky looter is pretty good. Um, urban combat, iron breaker, and, uh, auto, SMG auto turret. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, but no crucible. Dang it. So, it looks like everything changed. So, we have a decision to make here, folks. We can either accept our fate and just deal with what we have. All these schematics. Or I can, um load up the other save because I did I did actually s save it after finding the crucible um, and I do have that save um, we could go back to that one or we could just spawn one in right now and have it along with what we have here uh, I don't know what to do what do you guys think what do you guys think I don't know I can't make up my mind I mean, I was really, really hoping to find one on camera with you guys. We've been after the Crucible for so long. It was epic. Oh. Oh, hi. Are you taking a bath? Sorry. Go. Don't, don't let us disturb you. Get right back in there, pal. We don't want to see that. Um, oh, here's a bookshelf right here. Cool. Look at the size of this place. It's cool. Oh. Oh, it's a bartender. Hi, buddy. Can we have a... Uh, never mind. Merle. Merle, what you doing, buddy? Merle's playing pool. Yeah, hobnobbing with the Mc, with McMansions, huh? That's, like I said, nothing wrong with that. It's fine. It's fine. Get up. But you should come and visit Paulina sometime. You know where she lives. Yeah. Anyway, we got a bookshelf here. <laughs> Sledgehammer. We already have it. Dag nabbit. So, yeah, that's the, that's the dilemma we're in right now, guys. So let me know down in the comments. What do you think we should do? Hold on, we got a nosy neighbor. Nosy neighbor! Eh, there she is. Yeah, we don't need any nosy neighbors around right now. Um, yeah, I mean, the place is pretty big. I'm gonna go through it right now and see if there's any more loots around. There was that secret room over here. What the heck was it? That weird room. It was like right back here, wasn't it? See, behind the shelf. Oh, holy cow. There is a secret room back here. <laughs> this is disturbing. The yucky old mattress and a sealed shipping crate. Oh, and a rotting sports bag. Blunderbuss and a stone spear. Oh, fantastic. That's some great stuff right there, let me tell you. Oh, the ammo is pretty good. Uh, all right, I'm going to... I guess I'll go through the house... Well, let's just do it right now. We got time. 
We got time. What the heck is that? Ew. Ew. No. No thanks. Maybe we'll find a schematic in the toilet or something. And we have this right here. Passing gas. Oh, oil recipe. All right, that's cool. You know what? I'm just gonna read all these right now. To get them out of the. Get them out of the um, inventory here. Silence of the lambs. Kill a screamer zombie. We've done that before. Got me the glass. These we can sell. SMG auto turret sounds pretty cool. Sniper. Weapons do 10% more damage when using a scope. Oh, I like that. Lucky looter. We have all these. Iron breaker mod. Automatic weapons. You can craft drum magazines for your automatic weapons and turrets. That's pretty good too. I mean, so this it's not a terrible loss. We didn't get the crucible, but we got a lot of cool stuff here. Powered bridges and doors, iron clubs. Yeah. I don't know. Hello? Who's out there? Where does this go? Goes to the back door. Oh, it's one of the McManus, uh, McMansion kids. McManus. <laughs> Coming home for dinner? Well, sorry, but mom's not cooking tonight. So you're going to have to come up with your own plans, kid. All right, let's bust through. Where does that go? Oh, that goes back to the kitchen. We've already been there. Uh, this might be something new here. Oh, I hear some more mansions around. Oh, hi! I'm gonna use my fisty cuffs on you. Oh, there's Merle again. Merle, you're back. Holy cow! Oh, <laughs> she's trying to squeeze through the hole. You're too big to squeeze through that hole. Go use a treadmill downstairs for a little while. Then and come back. All right. Oh, what? Really, Merle? He's so mad that I called him out for hanging out with the McMansions. There's nothing wrong with that. They're fine people. And they have lots of books, which is great for us. Now, what is this here? Up into the attic. Ooh. Hold on. Are we reloaded? All reloaded. Well, you got to watch out for the ferals now. If we get ferals, another special infected. Oh, here we go. What are you doing? Talk about dirty little secret. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, this is one of the uh, McMansion kids up here with a guy in a hazard suit. That's really bizarre, I gotta say. Very, very strange. But, you know, hey, listen, what happens in the McMansions stays at the McMansions. I'm gonna bike her up here, too. Oh, you wanna go, buddy? You wanna go, Paulina? Right now. You can't have her bike. Get your own bike. Get your own dang bike. Ooh, look at all this. Holy cow, I didn't see this before. Oh, one little pill. Some ammunition and a big old chest. We like big old chests. Got a scope, leather gloves, and yeah, scrap it. Um, I don't think we need a hunting knife either. And lots of shipping crates here. Give me a claw hammer. I need a claw hammer, dang it. So the other thing we need is a claw hammer. It would be awesome. Iron sledgehammer, wire tool, and a wrench. Eh. Meh. Not very good. Yeah, this is not a very good run, to be honest. Especially since I don't get the crucible. So, I think what I'm going to do is just spawn it in. Because, like I said, guys, I, I'm telling you, I did find it here. I promise you that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I would never lie to you. I did find it. Um... So, I think I may just spawn it. Oh. Oh, big mama in the closet and a nurse in the closet. Wow. This house comes complete with nurses and big mamas in closets. Boy, these people really know how to live, these McMansions. I think I hear some feet outside, too. Man, the shotgun reloads so fast. It's awesome. Uh. Oh. Hey. I'm supposed to take it. Clothes off. At least your helmet. You're gonna take a shower, you weirdo. Oh, big mama's on the toilet. Ooh, don't go in there. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Close the door. I blew the door up. It's gone. <laughs> Ooh, what did you do in here, big mama? Don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. It does not require an answer. 
shotgun shells in the sink. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the rest of the house and make sure we don't miss anything. Looky what I found, a purse in the wall right next to the Peloton that nobody here seems to use. <laughs> Certainly not Mama or Merle. Uh, anyway, all right, let's check these last few cabinets here. I think I got everything, guys. Unfortunately, I did not find a claw hammer because that would have been a nice thing to have, too. Oh, a beer. Yeah, we'll drink that before we head out. That's a nice wrench. Scrap that. All right, I think I got everything and none too soon because it's going to be 2200 in one second. All right, let's uh all right, let's go. Let's go right out the hole in the wall that we could have gone in instead of blasting a hole in the front door, but that was pretty cool. Did we we check the um garage, right? How thoroughly. Oh no, you know what? We didn't do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta do this quick. Food's good. Is that it? Oh, there's something up here. What is that? It's just trash. One Duke's token. Just one. <laughs> and, and we're encumbered because of it. Alright, we gotta we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, now watch out for the hole here. I don't want to end up down in that weird room. Oh no! Crank up the lights and go, Paulina, go, go, go! Somebody right here out front. And now they're super fast. But we made it. So, again, since we didn't get the crucible the second time around, and I know you guys believe me. Get out of the road in the middle of the night, you weirdo. Uh, I know you guys believe me that I did find the crucible, so put down in the comments whether you think it would be justified to spawn one in. Um, and I'll do that. I, I really think we should. Not not the crucible itself, but the recipe. I'll learn it. And then we still have to make it. And it, I think it requires like 100 iron. So it's still going to be tough to make. Well, not that tough. But, oh, hey, these guys are still out. Oh, who's that guy? He must have been the friend of the guy in the car. And he came to pick him up. Yep, girl club worker. There she is. And there's the biker. Hopefully I don't run over my own minds. All right, Paulina, quick, 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 quick. Oh, jeez. Park it. Er oh, they blasted a mine. Dang you. We're safe. Very good. Okay. Oh, dang it. There's another mine. All right, so Pauline is going to get organized for next time. And once again, put down in the comments whether you think it would be justified to spawn in a, uh, a crucible. Paulina thinks so. Since I did find one legitimately, but unfortunately I had technical difficulties, so I don't have proof. But uh, trust me, I did. I would not lie to you. <laughs> so yeah, just put that down in the comments. Yes, spawn in. No, don't spawn in. So yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.